this is another shooting video with Stephen Smith. Today we're going to shoot a pistol I built myself. Yeah, I built a 22 Derringer pistol, single shot. So now I'll introduce you. This is my 22 Derringer. It is brake action at the top. It's got a little hammer spring right here. It's a very simple operation. It's a hammer spring, a hammer, a trigger. It's sheet metal construction. It uses gun screws from Ace Hardware. It has a push button barrel release. Everything has been made by hand using files, a drill press, sandpaper, nothing fancy. The metal's pitted because it's old scrap metal, but it is nickel plated so it will last a while and I'll keep it clean. Shouldn't ever have any problems with it. The grips are walnut, at least 100 years old from an old rifle that was broken. Cocked back. And fires. Very rough hammer firing pin design. Just straight through the receiver, through the breech wall, and into the barrel. It's hard to do this with one hand filming, so I'm going to press the button and push down on the barrel. There we go. This is an old barrel or a piece of an old barrel from a Western Field rifle. Ward's Western Field from the early 1900s that was broken. I picked it up for $13. You can see the original grooves for the extractor. I just use that as a place to put my fingernails now to pull the, pull the expense cartridge out. This push button is kind of impromptu when the original uh, barrel release, barrel catch design didn't work. As you can see the hammer goes through the breech and fires. There's the spring for the barrel release. There's a little spring in behind the hammer or the trigger. And here's a hammer spring I can take it out and show you. It just fits right in here, clicks in behind the hammer, stays put. Nice, no problems. So far I've shot this about 70 or 80 times with various types of ammo. It shoots pretty much all 22 ammo including shorts, the Aguila, uh, no powder rounds, just about anything. Today I've got some subsonic M22 from Winchester, we'll be shooting that. So much easier with two hands. Cock the hammer back and pull the trigger. Yes, I'm wearing hearing and eye protection. What we're going to be shooting are 8 by 10 steel targets. And this little thing does not have sights not really needed I thought it was just extra work because this is going to be an up close and personal get off me type gun and taking aim at a target way over there didn't really think was necessary one thing about this when the round is loaded the hammers back the hammer is resting on the edge of the 22 rim as you can see 
So this is not a carry gun that I would want to carry loaded. If something bumps this hammer hard, it could go off. So this is more of a, a range toy, something to show off, something to shoot occasionally, but this is not a self-defense carry gun. This is more of a, a test to see if I could do it. I may install a safety later, but it would be a hammer block safety. I have not decided how I want to do that yet. I think I'm going to go get some spray paint and paint these so I can see where I'm hitting. I'll keep some white spray paint out at the barn just for this. Yeah, as you can see, it's got some holes. This is where one of my in-laws decided to shoot this with an AR-15. It'll handle 9mm and 22. It will not hold up to AR-15 or high-powered rifle rounds. This is just plain steel. Nothing special. So now I'm going to unload it. Oh, that was tough. I know the 22 shorts are easier to get out. May just need to clean this barrel since I've been shooting it. All right, let's see if I can hit it. Fresh white targets. Hit the one on the right. Nice. I'm standing about five yards away. Hammer cocked. Second shot. Third shot. I'm basically just looking straight down the barrel. Three. Decided to use a nail to poke the round out. That works. Going for number four. Every single one seems to be rising a little bit. I'm gonna try to bring it back down. And number five. Yeah, back down toward the center now. Six. Seven. Dead center. I'll try to do one another one dead center. I go in for eight. slightly off from it maybe an inch not sure if I filmed shot nine but it was really close not bad for a little home-built gun with no sights at five yards
All right, I'm back at 10 yards. I'm going to see if I could hit one. Hey, I hit it a little low and to the left. All right, I hit it at 10. I'm going to step back to 15 yards. Let's see if I can get it from here. Let me zoom in. Yeah, hit it. Let's see where I hit that at. Oh, there it goes up at the top. All right, this is my last attempt. I'm back at 20 yards with a home-built 22 Derringer. Let's see if I can hit it now. All right. Oops, had a misfire. All right, this is cool. Let's see if we can figure out why this misfired. like the primer impacted it could just be a bad round I'm gonna rotate the round all right same round let's see if it'll go nope could be a bad bullet All right, one more attempt at the primer on this round. Oh, three in a row. That's a bad round. Yeah, I took that round out after three attempts. I haven't had problems like that. That's probably just a bad primer. Let's step back here at 20 yards again. Give this another try. Yeah, I missed that. I don't know where it went. Anyway, that's shooting my homemade 22 Derringer. I'm gonna go see the lead splatter on the ground. Just keep in mind these are subsonic rounds. impacting with a decent amount of force. I've got some 2x4s that I'm going to replace holding this thing up. I'm going to see just what it'll do out of this short barrel. Okay, this is just a temporary target stand while I finish building my new range. Got my berms I'm working on here one further back this is just a temporary stand because i like to shoot but i haven't got my target stand built yet this is my old original one that i've just got holding up with some concrete blocks but this 22 i want to see what it'll do to this two by four there's no bullet holes in it in this area right here where these stripes are. I want to see what it does. I'm going to stand up a little closer because I'm trying to hit a, a thin target. Cool. No accuracy issues. 
There's the bullet hole in the tree. And exit on the back. So a 22 Derringer with a two and a half inch barrel shooting subsonic rounds will shoot all the way through a two by four. Wow. I have a golf ball. I have to shoot the golf ball. I think I can hit that golf ball. Alright, last shot. Guaranteed. Find the ball. Let's see what it did. Yeah, I'm gonna put the phone down while I find the ball. Well, I found the ball. Nice little entry right in the center. No apparent exit wound though. So it'll go through a two by four. The golf ball was able to stop it, unless there's an exit wound I just can't make out. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. As much as I did. My little gun.